Well, good morning from Willamette Valley, Oregon. I am out here this morning in my yard doing my first pumpkin harvest. I'm so excited about this. I have to tell you, I have not been doing much in my garden except just watering because the air quality here in Oregon, at least where I'm at, has been unsafe to breathe because of all the wildfires. So honestly, like I've been keeping everything watered, but it's early in the morning and I really need to get out here and get some stuff harvested. So my squash is going crazy. The pumpkins needed harvested. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I've got so far for my pumpkin harvest and then what is still to come for my pumpkin patch. Okay, friends, here is what I got from my first pumpkin harvest. So I've got five orange, nice sized carvable pumpkins and four of the cute little decorative stripey pumpkins. I will grab the seed packets and show you exactly what kinds of pumpkins. I believe I planted probably like five or six different kinds this year. So let me show you over here the reason I harvested today is because I have several more that are working on growing. And because the ones I harvested today are orange, that is my cue that they are ready to harvest. And that way these plants can send more energy. I left this one because you can see it's just a little bit green down there. That way the plants can send more energy to more flowers, which you can see they're flowering every morning. Check this out. This is, see that tendril back there? That's just along these planter boxes, which I never got planted up with the rest of my strawberries. But these pumpkins are just going for it. They are still blooming. They're still, the pollinators are still all over them. They're relatively healthy looking. I have noticed some squash beetles or squash bugs on them. Let me see if I can find one. But, and I have sprayed a little bit of, see them down here? Those guys. Feel bad, bad guys. Um, I've sprayed with a little bit of like natural, um, just insecticidal soap nothing chemical um, to try to alleviate that. But I still think like all this green growth I'm getting, I think what I've kind of been doing is cutting back some of the yellowing leaves and, you know, making room for fresh growth. And there still are some pumpkins that are doing their thing here and gonna be big, getting bigger and ripening up. So that is why I, oh, there's one more right there. That's why I went ahead and cut the ones that were ripe today to sort of give more energy to, you know, let the plant give more energy to these ones that are still producing and growing. Look at this one, he's just hanging out. Well, hi, hi there. <laughs> so let me grab my seed packets and I'll show you um, exactly what varieties of pumpkins I sowed this year. All right, so I'm in my greenhouse and here are what I have as far as um, the different varieties I sowed. This one's from Territorial Seed Company. Actually, a couple of these are from Territorial. So looking at the pictures, these ones are the, the little like white and orange stripy ones, I'm pretty sure, uh, was this one, Little Pumpkin Mon F1. Um, I couldn't, honestly, I couldn't tell you which of these three packets, well, I don't think I got any that were that shape. Maybe, maybe those are the ones that are just coming on now are more like flat like that, but I definitely got some like taller ones. Um, these ones, I don't see any that are that color. This said the fairy tale and I liked the color of it, but honestly, I don't see any in my in my harvest that, or even in the ones that are growing that are that particular color. So I don't think these did much for me, but I think the rest of these four um, did pretty well. And yeah, it was kind of an ambitious plant for such a small garden bed anyway, but I'm happy with, um, you know, the harvest that I did get so far and all the things that I have yet to come. Super exciting. Next up on my to-do list is to, um, harvest some of my squash. I have like a lot of squash that needs harvested and then a bunch of tomatoes um, and some green beans. God, I got so much to harvest, but I just wanted to show you what we're dealing with here in Willamette Valley, Oregon, as far as the air quality. I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll show you my, my mountain. Um, usually the sky is clear and blue, 
let me show you what it looks like currently. So this is what we're dealing with. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there is like this haze in the air, like especially in the mornings, it's okay. But by the afternoon, it is so bad. And like all my patio furniture, everything is just covered in ash. It's just terrible. It just sucks that, um, sorry, my patio is kind of a mess, but it just sucks that there's these wildfires, I feel like every summer now um, in my area, and it just sucks, it sucks. So anyway, I gotta get some stuff done this morning while it's the air is still okay to breathe. Can you guys see the sky? I mean, it's just haze, you know? Anyway, it's unfortunate, but I gotta get some stuff done while I can still be out here because the rest of the day, we have literally been like hiding inside because no one can go outside and breathe the air because it's unsafe to breathe. So my plants don't seem to mind though. I mean, this dahlia seems pretty happy about the whole situation. Anyway, let's get harvesting the rest of the stuff today. like this I I don't know what these are but I probably won't eat these ones they're really like they're really hard um, these ones are pretty good for like soups and stuff but the zucchinis are great we fry them up um, you can shred them and do zucchini bread another thing that I like to do is I will chop them up um, and throw them in a freezer bag put them in the freezer and then throughout the winter you can use them in like soups you can throw them in smoothies and it's just a healthy alternative. It's just like putting ice in your smoothie, except you're using frozen zucchini. Um, so it's giving you that extra nutrition from your garden. So, and of course I give them to friends because <laughs> right now I have a plethora of zucchinis. So let's go to my other zucchini patch and see what might be ripe over there and see what's going on with my tomatoes and my green beans.
up, steam them up, put some butter on them for my family tonight. I just want to show you. These kind, if you see ones like this, what I do is I just grab them and I throw them back in the bed because there's seeds in here um, that could potentially come up next year. Um, but I do take them off the plant because I don't want the plant to send any more energy into producing those seeds. I want them to send more energy into new blooms. And I got one more zucchini out of this bed. So my tomatoes are doing good, my zucchinis. Um, and then over here, I just wanted to give you an update on this area. So I'll link a video a couple of weeks back. I pulled out all my kind of dead uh, peas um, and I re-sowed them and look at how well they're doing. And I also popped in a couple kind of like last minute squash. I've got a volunteer tomato coming up back there, which is kind of fun, but look at my peas. So I will get a second flush of peas growing up and then I've got some butter, I think it's butternut or acorn squash here, something I didn't have room for in my other garden beds and they have just completely like taken off. And then of course the green beans are doing really well and they're super happy and they're producing, so yeah. And then this area over here, which is also in that video, um, this planter bed that I did with the coleus and the creeping jenny and the, the grass, but look at this, it's so, beautiful I love it so much so I will link that video down below where I sort of um, did some stuff in this area so that you can check out just in a couple of weeks the progress and the growth that happens when you you know utilize the space that you have and grow some stuff so it's really exciting all right, well, that's gonna be it for my video today thanks for hanging out with me while I harvested my first fall harvest it's such a time of abundance in my garden and i'm so grateful that i have this you know small yard that i can enjoy growing food for my family i feel so blessed um for those of you that are experiencing wildfires in your area i just wanted to tell you that you know i'm right there with you it's really frustrating and hard and so i'm just sending you all the love and good vibes as you navigate um you know this difficult time of year anyway i hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe i really appreciate you guys watching and i hope you were able to get out in your yard today because it's a fun place to be see you guys later bye